This is Physa acuta, the world's most cosmopolitan freshwater gastropod, found on six continents. Um, like most invasive species, Physa acuta is adapted for rich, disturbed, <coughs> possibly transitory environments. It has a rapid generation time for a freshwater gastropod anyway, does uh, egg to egg in about eight weeks has huge reproductive capabilities. These things will lay 25, 35 eggs, typically every 24 hours for a year or a year and a half. Uh, they are simultaneously hermaphroditic. They can self-fertilize uh, as well as outcross in both directions. Uh, this particular individual was collected in a canal or some sort of public waterway in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin and starred at the Martin Microscope booth uh, and during the uh, Society for Freshwater Science meeting in May of 2015. The most interesting thing he does is that occasionally you'll see him come to the surface and uh, take in an air bubble. Uh, this is also uh, an adaptation for rich, disturbed environments. Physa acuta are pulmonate snails, uh, which means they've lost their gills and now respire over their entire mantle surface, which is uh, effectively a lung. Uh, so this allows them to colonize uh, places where uh, rich or polluted or warm waters where the dissolved oxygen might be quite low. Um, I like to call Physa acuta the fruit fly of malacology uh, because they're uh, such an excellent experimental organism. Uh, I must have 20 papers published on them, but uh, my less charitable colleagues call them the cockroach of malacology. These things uh, can bloom to the point they clog the trickling filters in sewage treatment plants. They can be quite a pest. Um, anyway, anyway, uh, Fisa acuta was first described by uh, a Frenchman uh, named Draperneau uh, from the River Garonne, upstream from the port city of Bordeaux, in 1807. Um, which is kind of remarkable in itself. I mean, the, uh, the biological system of nomenclature was first proposed by the Swede, Carl von Linné, in 1735. And so by 1807, uh, pretty much all of the, the microscopic flora and fauna of Europe was very well known. So here in 1807, this, uh, this fellow finds a brand new species of snail in France. Um, and that snail which was called Physa acuta, uh, spread rapidly over the entire Old World um, uh, through, through the Mediterranean initially, then across Asia all the way to Japan, and then through Indonesia to Australia. Um, uh, and by the 20th century, it w had reached Sub-Saharan Africa. It was a remarkable thing, just covered the Old World. But meanwhile, we here in North America did not have any Physa acuta. That's kind of peculiar, too. Uh, science here in the U.S. Uh, developed some considerably later than in Europe. Uh, the father of American malacology was a fellow named Thomas Say, uh, one of a group of uh, bright young men who founded the Academy of Natural Sciences of Philadelphia in the early 19th century. Uh, and Thomas Say uh, described the first American FISA from his hometown of Philadelphia in 1817, and he initially called it FISA heterostropha. Uh, and then as young America expanded, um, and uh, with it uh, sci came scientific exploration, uh, a, a great number of additional names were proposed for FISA. There's FISA Integra in the Midwest, and FISA Vergata in the Southwest, and FISA Cubensis across the Caribbean. Uh, and uh, that proceeded for about 200 years. Uh, and dozens of species names for FISA accumulated around America, but not... Um, kind of surprisingly, uh, Fisa acuta. So in 2002, uh, several students and I from the College of Charleston uh, persuaded some colleagues uh, in Europe to send us some uh, genuine Fisa acuta from France and also some from um, Ireland. And we designed a bunch of um, uh, mating experiments to test for reproductive isolation between the European and the North American populations. And sure enough, um, uh, what we've been calling Physa heterostropha or Integra or whatever here in North America uh, is indeed the same species as that invasive Physa acuta that has covered the old world. 
And I guess it makes sense now if you think about it, because back in 1807, uh, we just got finished with one uh, war with Great Britain, and we're on the cusp of starting another one. Uh, so during that period of time, in 1807, France was our number one trading partner, and the port city of Burgundy was the number one point of entry for American goods in the early 19th century. So somehow our American snail got uh, introduced uh, into western France and then covered Europe, Asia, and the rest of the old world. And, and here's the kicker. The French name is the proper one. Uh, due to the law of priority, Fisa Acuta, Draperno 1807, prevails over Fisa Heterostropha, say 1817, and all the other North American names. It's our own star-spangled American snail, but uh, the proper name is the French one.